then everything becomes completely different. Okay, we've actually been able to open the carbs. Morning, I apologize for the music coming from the infinity stand, but I wanted to do a video on this car because, well, first let me tell you a story. First time I came to the Geneva Motor Show, I met some of the guys who worked at Gambala, and they were the nicest people ever to me and actually invited me onto their stand, and I ended up working on their stand for about two, three days during that uh, show, the year I'd been there with them. They had some amazing cars there, and ever since they've sent me cars over to film, they've provided for me at different motor shows and they've always been really really kind to me. So Gimbala have a really really special place in my heart and I just wanted to come back here and I wanted to do a video on their latest product. Show you guys around the car and it's my way of giving back to the guys here and just having a great time. I genuinely really really like the car as well so I wanted to show it to you so that you knew what this car is about, what the company is about and what's going on. First of all if we spin really slowly this way we got a Gimbala Mistral here which is a Panamera which actually was at my house during Top Marks a couple of years ago. It's the same car in a beautiful grey and then in a matching grey there is a Mirage GT which is the last one they actually ever made. It's the 25th out of 25 that they're making. Last one here. The main reason we're here is the Gembala Avalanche which is a line they've been doing for many 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 years where they'll take a 911 turbo and just tune it to sort of the maximum output all crazy sort of just full out crazy 911. So this is what they've done here. They put it in this beautiful metallic paint, which is absolutely stunning. I really, purple cars seem to be something that are really growing on me at the moment. It's in this beautiful purple color and it's effectively a completely new car. They've changed everything, full body kit, rims are different. It's got the craziest wing in the world. The engine is completely different as well. They've bumped it up to 820 horsepower. The whole body's been changed. There's carbon fiber all over the place. The wheels have been completely redone. New carbon ceramic brakes. And overall, it is just my favorite, I think, tuner car from the show. Because I think it's an amazing car by itself, but also because I really like the company and what they mean to me. So this is just a quick video I thought I would do today to show you guys this side of things. Not a massive video, but just something to show them. So I'm going to walk you around the car now and show you a few of the differences. Okay, here it is then. So this might be slightly shaky, but it'll just be me walking around the car to show you some different things. First things first, the whole front of the car here is completely changed. So the whole front end, the whole front splitter, it's still got the same lights and the same LED running lights as the normal car because obviously it is still based on that but then everything becomes completely different so you got these air vents here which are a new Gembala edition you got this new hood which is very cool sort of American muscle muscle car style and around the side you got new air vents in here new rims with carbon ceramic brakes which are look like new calipers as well but don't quote me on that as you can tell even this piece here is completely changed because it's got another air vent there which you wouldn't usually see that air vent continues through the door where you've got a slat which you wouldn't usually have so you realize how much effort these guys have put into it because everything on the car has been changed then you got a huge air vent right there and behind that you got the rims as well the new rims interior rise I'm not sure if we can look inside of it but as you can tell it is very, very modified, completely based on the new car, so same seat, same steering wheel, all that stuff. So it's just a different usage of materials, but apart from that, it is the same, you know, inside, there's not, no major differences, all the buttons remain the same and stuff. You then go up here, is where it gets really crazy, you got a freaking roof scoop, which is madness, above what is actually a panoramic roof, if you can see down there. But you got a roof scoop up there with a huge, huge, huge rear wing which looks absolutely bonkers. I don't think I've ever seen a rear wing of this size before. And then fighter jet styled exhaust with a huge diffuser on the back. I mean, from here, this thing just looks absolutely mad. This is the angle to look at. I mean, following this down the motorway, it's crazy. There's some stats down here, so there you can see the interior a bit better. It would be slightly ridiculous, but I guess you could daily this in some ways because it is still a 911 and it's not that much lower than the normal car. It just looks completely mad. I mean, look at these air vents here. Absolutely massive. Okay, we've actually been able to open the car up. So as you can tell, a lot of white, a lot of differences to so little things like down here, we got the the little white patches in the seats. These are the sports seats based on the normal 911 Turbo. You got the Gambala logo, which is all lit up in the seats. Avalanche lit up as well on the door cards. I mean, overall, 
This is just, as a package, absolutely unbelievable. Look at it there. You've got the massive Avalanche logo. Really, really nice. It's just a, literally bathing in Alcantara and leather. Really nice interior. Really well done to these guys. That's that then. I'm going to wrap it up here, but I just want to say a massive thank you. There isn't actually anyone representing Gambale here, so I haven't been able to get too much info on the car. But I just wanted to make this video, the last few videos, the Alpine video and the GT3 video and this one have just been me coming back, just making videos that I wanted to make last time I was here, which I didn't have time to make. And mainly, they are the three cars that I went straight to see as soon as I came back and had time to actually look at cars. So I figured I might as well just bring a camera with me and film them for you guys. So they're not the most highly edited, not the most highly produced videos. Literally just a quick tour of every car with sort of what interests me about them. But we're going to be back to normal videos in the next couple of days. Thank you so much for watching. I apologize for the music again. That's really annoying, but not much I can do about it. Thanks for watching as per usual. Please remember to subscribe. Congratulations to these guys on their new car. I love it. Comment down below what you think, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye. Hey, yo. Quick cap, same, Saturday, no more. No Julia.